It's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a beautiful 1961 Fuley. It has a CS stamp block, 315 horsepower. And today we're gonna to give you a guided tour of this beautiful machine. Also, we're gonna take it for a test drive. We're gonna include underside shots, which will be in the link below. If you have any further questions, leave a comment and we'll assist you as fast as we can. Let's do it. Overall condition of this beautiful 1961 Corvette Fuley. In regards to fit and finish, extremely nice. Overall condition, a 8 out of 10. We give it that 8 out of 10 rating because there are minor imperfections, which we're going to showcase in the gallery below. So if you click on the link, we're going to actually have in the photo gallery direct photos of the imperfections. I'm going to go over them right now, but if you want to see them in detail, click on the link below. So we have a small imperfection here on the driver's side fender. Underneath the driver's door, which is common because of your foot getting in and out, there are two small imperfections. On the front bumper, in regards to the chrome, very, very nice, but we do have a small imperfection on the tip of it. I would say that the chrome is show quality, car quality. My favorite part is the restorer decided to actually keep the chrome accent that goes from the actual window pillar all the way to the front end in chrome. Normally this would be body colored, but I actually like it. It gives it a nice flair. The coves are very nice. The paintwork is extremely nice. Uh, there's a small imperfection, as I stated right here, just a little imperfection here and then right there as well. Those are all gonna be in the gallery. We are an open book in regards to selling cars. We sold 2,800 classic cars, sight unseen on the internet. We have stellar ratings, so when you're buying a Corvette, I'm sure you're seeing the other Corvettes in the background. This is a passion-driven deal for us. Uh, your, your hubcaps are very nice. All of your bright work throughout is very clean as well. Doors open up easily. All of your windows go up and down as they should. Let's spin it to the side so you guys can see another profile. We're on the passenger side right now. It is the same as the driver's side in regards to condition. Very clean and very even throughout. Uh, normally when you see a amateur restoration, which this is definitely not, the white, you, you would see like it, the blotchiness throughout. It just looks perfect. All of your glass is very nice. Passenger side door opens up just like the driver's side door and listen to it close. Beautiful. You do have keyways on both sides. This is powered by a 315 CS stamp block, made it to a four speed transmission. You do not have power steering, but you have a very large steering wheel, which we're gonna show you when we get inside of it. Let's take a look at the beautiful interior. Door cards are very nice and you're gonna see that in the gallery. I love the release for the door. Uh, for the door. Your windows go up and down with ease. Let's jump inside it real quick. So you have a really big steering wheel, and that's gonna help you because it does not have power steering. Horn operates, 160 mile per hour speedometer. It is showing 50,206 miles. And the best part, so when it was purchased, it was sent over to us, we sent it to Keith's Rods and Customs, and they actually did the head gaskets, they resurfaced the heads because it had a slight miss. It runs phenomenal. We also had Mike Fig from Fig Performance come in, and he actually, tune the fuel injection and now you can start it up it runs perfect and we're going to give you guys all those receipts in regards to the interior sorry i went off on a tangent there but this is a dialed in 1961 fuel the the dash is very nice all of your accessories inside here there's no uh like tarnishing etc your corvette badging right here is very nice your glass is nice your visors are very nice and tight so they're not going to be flapping everywhere the shifter, so a four-speed shifter. So you have your release for the reverse right here. First, second, third, and fourth. Center section's very nice. You do have heat with the fan blower. Aftermarket stereo. All the gauges have been redone and they look great. Your tachometer works. Let's open up the hood and show you that power plant. We just popped the hood. I wanna showcase this beautiful engine bay. So this is a 283 cubic inch motor with a Rochester mechanical fuel injection system. There's only a handful of people that actually work on these and we were able to find someone that could actually set it up properly. As I said, we've already gone through all of the top end. So we did the head gaskets, we had the heads resurfaced, uh, new plugs, etc. It runs amazing. We're gonna showcase that later in the video. So please keep tuned in. Uh, you do have all of your stampings here, which are gonna be in the gallery. So if you wanna see the stampings for CS, you wanna see the Rochester numbers, click on the link below. This is a 0912 distributor, which is proper for the Rochester setup. 
All of your pulleys are very nice. You do still have a generator set up, 12 volt system, and then look at how nice all of the uh, plating is throughout. They, everything's nice and clean and proper. You do have the satin finish here, which is proper. A record radiator, which is the, it looks like the original style radiator. Uh, this is a beauty. Let's turn it forward and take it for a test drive. Before we go for a test drive, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe so we can give you guys more great cars like this. Let's take it for a test drive. All right, we're taking the 61 Fuley out for a test drive. Transmission feels great. There's no binding. It is beautiful from the outside, so you're going to see that shortly. All of my gauges are operating. Fuel gauge is working. Our temperature is slowly rising. My tachometer is working. Our voltage is charging, and our oil pressure is at 50 pounds. Remember, the top end was just serviced, so we have brand new head gaskets. The heads were resurfaced, and it runs really, really nice. Idle's nice as well. Interior is very comfortable. I'm six foot, 215 pounds. I should be less, but that's okay. Paint scheme throughout. So when I'm looking down the hood, very even. There's no waviness. Gauge is showing uh, up to 160 miles per hour, and our odometer is showing 50,207 miles. So we're gonna take it for around three mile test drive over the bridge, and then we're gonna get you some beautiful artistic shots. Brakes feel great as well. Into second, no issues at all. We're going 45 miles per hour. In a 1961 Corvette with a CS block, 315 horsepower, mechanical fuel injection, you could downshift it easily into third. And it sounds really good. We're gonna go over the Marina Mile Bridge right here. We'll do a U-turn, we'll get some acceleration shots and let you decide if you wanna put this collectible in your garage. If you have any questions, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Steering is very tight and responsive. I can move it and the steering is actually moving. If you wanna see underside shots of this, click on the link below. That's gonna have a full gallery along with a description, along with all the castings from the transmission, along with the stampings on the motor, along with the Rochester numbers as well. If you like this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe because that's going to give you guys more great cars just like this. We're in fourth gear right now at 2,000 RPMs with no issues. Going to downshift. We'll get it in a second. Oh, it sounds good. Let's do our U-turn. Just put the turn signal on. baby brakes are even as well there's no pulling from left to right I love the hubcaps on this we'll let the camera car go up a little bit and then we'll accelerate and show you what it could do we're in first gear let's see how she does got some get up and go you got to think about that this is 1961 we're talking about 315 horsepower super smooth plenty of power and recently redone so you guys have a good power plant the suspension feels great the limiting straps are nice this is a great one to put into a collection we're going to take it right here we're going to go over some bumps so you can see how the suspension reacts and let you decide if you want to put this collectible in your garage if you have any questions at all give us a call at 954-363-2261 I'm having a blast in this 61. Perfection. Perfection. We're in second right now. We're taking a corner here. We're gonna go over the bumps. So there's uh, two significant bumps and then a big dip so you guys can see how the suspension reacts. Here comes the first set. Nice and smooth. Here's a big dip. No issues at all. See if the lights work. Just turned them on. Once again, if you guys have any questions, give us a call 954 363 2261. I'm out of here.